Separating players into teams is a core component of many popular Roblox games, including stuff like Arsenal, Big Paintball, uh, Adopt Me, I think. I don't know. Never played the game. So the way to actually make teams is very easy. Uh, go to your Explorer window right here. And if you can't find it, go to View and then click Explorer here. And there should be a folder that says Teams. So I'll make... Here you click the plus button and you click a team. And the team has a name, as in what you'll see, like the name of the team you'll see here and the team color. So I'll name this team. You can honestly name it whatever you want. I'll name this, uh, I don't, F. And as you can see, it changes the name automatically here as well. And then the Fs will be yellow. <laughs> Why not? And I'll make a new team and I'll call them the Gs. You know, it's a G. And they can be carnation pink, whatever that means. So the way teams work is that if you actually don't do any scripting and if you leave them as is, then the player will be assigned to the first team. So the first team is F, meaning we're assigned to F. Now, the moment another player joins, it will balance it out. So if, if another player were to join me, they would go to team G. And then a third player would go to team F, or team G, and so on and so on. But what if we want to actually select the team? What if we want to change the player team? Because, I mean, you you know, your game might have auto balance or whatever. You might have, you know, team switching. Or you might just want to know when a player has entered or left a team. So the way you do this is in server storage. Why is this blue? What? Script. That is service, I think. Yeah, service script service. Why was this blue? <laughs> okay. All right, <laughs> let's ignore that. Click new, make a script. So in a service script, let's make this thing called game.players.player added connect function. There we go. So what this does, in case you don't know, is it's just saying, okay, whenever, whenever like a player joins the game, we run this function, and this is the player who joined the game. So what if we want the player to go to team G, and then maybe after five seconds, go to team F? So the way you change a player's team is very easy. Every single player has a team value in them. So I can do player.team. Determines the team with which a player is associated. Uh, and then this is the color of the team that the player is associated with. So we'll say player team is equal to uh, game.teams, because that's where they are, dot, what was it, G? Yeah, so the player's team will now be G. And then we'll wait five, five seconds, and then we'll just say player team equals game.teams dot F. So now the moment I run, we should be in team G. Awesome. And then after five seconds, you should see me. Yep, there we go. Awesome. I'm in team F now. Now, again, there are a couple more things you can do with teams. So for example, game.teams. Now this will be a little new to me as well, because I'll be honest, I'm not like too knowledgeable in teams. Like I know the basics, right? But like maybe there's some very hidden niche function, which you might need to know about. Um, let's say team F. What can we do with team F? Right, so player added. So whenever a player is added to the team, it we can do a similar thing. So we connect it to a function, and then it gives us the player who was added to the team. Uh, we can get the color. Uh, we can find when the player is removed. Uh, whether this is auto-assignable as well. So I probably should have mentioned that. Uh, the reason why the player was auto-assigned to the team is because of this auto-assignable feature. So if, let's say we select both of these and turn off auto assignable, and I'll just delete the line that, you know, assigns them to the team. This, it will give me an error. Yeah, because I forgot to finish it. But we're neutral now. So if there isn't like a team, we're just on neutral. So Roblox makes a new team for you, which I, I guess is fairly convenient. Um, but all right, you know, let's, let's add this back, back. Let's make these auto assignable, whatever. And then let's see, is there anything else? Player removing, auto-assignable. Yeah, so these are just the basic stuff. So for example, what I could do is I could go in here, 
and I could say game dot team teams f. So like I said, every player is going to team G at first. Then we're waiting five seconds. Then they're going to team F. So when a new player joins team F, let's actually connect that to something. So player added connect function. And then this is the player who's added to the team. And then let's just say print um, player.name two dots, meaning we're separating. Uh, we're like, we're, this is like a, like, like we're just like adding uh, new text here. Uh, player name has joined team, and then I believe we could do game.teams.f.name. Awesome. There we go. So again, if I run this game now, this awesome game, which has lots of gameplay value. Oh, it prints it. Oh, I see what happens. Okay, so because the very moment he uh, the, like we joined, the player gets auto assigned to team F and then the script immediately like changes us to G and then back to F. So if I were to make the F um, team not auto assignable, then we, we wouldn't see that at the beginning. So that, that actually is interesting. So that's something you should uh, take notice of that like auto assignable teams. Yeah, there we go. So it's just, it just prints out once. So yeah, so if a team is auto assignable, it assigns it and then it runs any scripts to change the teams. So if you have like any important events that play out on team changes, just you know make sure to keep that in mind. Um, and yeah, you know I on it I believe that's it. Uh, you know just for fun we could, I don't know institutional white. Well, you could again name these whatever you want. I'll name this. Um, I don't I don't even know. You know I don't know I don't know good names for teams. Arsenal. And then we could do like stop me Halloween update. You know? I don't know. New pet. I don't know what adopt me does, honestly. But yeah, we, we could literally just do this. And again, that's not gonna work now because it can't find the F and the G. But there we go. See you can't you can't even see the, the name of the team. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's great. And it gives me some errors because it cannot find the G nor the F because we replaced them with Adopt Me and Arsenal. Well, that's basically the entire tutorial. So I'll delete the script. I'll delete both of these teams. And again, as a refresher, to add a team, go to here, click on team. And then to use the team or like to add a player to the team, just go player.team equals teams or like game.teams dot whatever name of the team you have. And remember, they're auto assignable by default. So if you don't want them to be auto assignable, just you know check this off. Or you can change it in the script as well. All right, all right, well, that's enough of me talking. Thank you for watching.